All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 88. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is eight to the power of x is equal to 88. And before we even start solving this, we should notice that eight to the power of one, this is equal to 88. Eight to the power of two, this is equal to 64. And eight to the power of three, which is 64 times eight is 512. So x, is going to be somewhere in between 2 and 3 and it's obviously going to be a decimal so we want to find the exact value of x now how are we going to do that well that's what we can use logarithms for so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides so I get log a to the power of x is equal to log of 88 and now what I can do is use an important property of logarithms that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log a to the power of x. So for log a to the power of x, I can move x to the front so this turns into 8 times log 8, or sorry, x times log 8 is equal to log 88. Now from here, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x. So then this can't, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 88 over log 8. Now, log 88, I can rewrite this as log of 11 times 8. And now, another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 11 times 8, and that turns into log of 11 plus log of 8. And I have all of this over log of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c. So in this case, I have a log 11 plus log 8 over log 8, and that's going to turn into log of 11 over log 8, and I have this plus log 8 over log 8. Now from here, log 8 and log 8 cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 11 over log 8. And now all that's left to do is plug in the exact values of log 11 and log 8 and solve. So log 11 is equal to 1.0414. And log of 8 is equal to 0 
nine zero three one. So now if I plug these values in, I get x is equal to one plus one point zero four one four over zero point nine zero three one. And this turns into one plus one point one five three one and one plus one point five three one is equal to two point one five three one so this is my answer